Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on uploading files to OneDrive. Um, let's say for example you've now finished your presentation, you've got it in a PowerPoint presentation mode. Um, I've got one of those examples over here um, on the left hand side. You maybe also turned it into an MP4 where it's going to look like Hi, good like afternoon. This. My name is Nick Banner. So um, either of these can be uploaded to OneDrive. OneDrive is a space and I'm just going to take us to it right now. So we're going to go to office.com. You can see it there, office.com and then it's going to have you log in. Just as a reminder, that login is going to be your student number at learn.vsb.bc.ca. So whatever your student number is at that. I'm going to log in for me now here. And their password is going to be whatever you use to log into computers at school or Wi-Fi, whatever you've been using to get onto Teams. And what you'll see is that you now ha you'll have access to OneDrive. Think of this as, uh, well, don't think of it, it is cloud storage, just like uh, uh, you see with many other, um, many other sites, uh, including Apple, including uh, Google. Google Drive is a perfect example. They're kind of the first ones who got into it. And when I open up OneDrive, I have my whole cloud storage. And I've got a lot of stuff here, as, as I do use it a lot. You'll probably have way less folders, um, but it doesn't matter. Um, just for the sake of it, I'm not going to make any new folders. I'm going to select these two documents. And again, if you put them on your desktop, it's really easy just to like make your uh, uh, make your Chrome or your Safari or whatever browser smaller. And you can just click and drag these right into here. If you put them in over top of any folder, they'll get a little bit more hidden. So I recommend just kind of putting them on the bottom. You'll notice up here it says uploading two files. Um, it'll take however long it takes depending on your internet. So we're not going to have to wait too long there. Done and done. Perfect. Once I've got those two files, and you can see they're now on the bottom, I can go and I can click the three little button ellipses here over top of either of these two files. So let's take the, let's take the video one, the MP4. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to go to this one right here. It's called Manage Access. Okay. This is where it allows you to share it with anyone you want. Um, you'll see here I'm currently the only one with it. I'm the owner. What I want to do is I want to actually leave that part alone and use the share button here. And a few options pop up. So this box pops up and we're going to click the top part first where it says people you specify can view and you're going to change that. You're going to click on it and you're going to go to people in Board of Education SD39 with the link is what it's really saying. You don't need to allow editing or anything because who's going to edit a video, but you want to make sure you choose that. You could also choose anyone with a link. The only difference here is this one will last longer and people will need to log in. But yeah, we want students to log in. We don't want random strangers seeing our videos. So let's click this one. Let's go apply. Now, it's going to allow me to send this as an email to anyone, but what I actually want to do is I want to just copy the link. So I'm going to click this button right here, and it's going to generate a link for anyone in VSB who has it to be able to access. If they get the link and they're not in VSB, they won't be able to log in and see it. If they're able to log into VSB but they don't have the link, it also won't work. So only by being able to log in and having the link will anyone be able to see this. So I'm going to hit copy link and it's going to pop up right here. Link to Vance mock presentation copied. Hit the copy here. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to send that to my teacher, for example. So, you know, link to presentation. I've opened up a, hey, give me an A. <laughs> and you're going to send that to whoever your teacher is. And boom, you're going to hit send and then they're going to add it. Where they're going to add it, I'll show you, is going to be in the digital fair spot. So this is where we're going to be adding all of the files in. There's an example of a YouTube here. I'm going to pretend, for example, that was Martina's and we're putting it here that link is now going to um, allow anyone to view it if they click it. So, if for example, I click, boom, it pops up, OneDrive for Business, and it's going to actually load my presentation. And there it is, and I can watch it right there. Hope this video was really helpful. Um, let me know if you have any issues at all. Okay, all the best.